Doc on the Run. We help injured runners run. Should a runner ice to treat soreness? Now, I recently got a great question from a runner in San Francisco. He wrote in and said, I just want to make sure that I'm not heading for an overtraining injury and want to make sure to reduce the inflammation. When I have soreness following a hard workout, should I apply ice? Now look, overtraining injuries happen because you have too much tissue damage and not enough healing of that injured tissue before your next workout. If you want to make sure you never get an overtraining injury, all you have to do is make sure all of your soreness completely subsides before you do your next workout. Now, obviously that just makes sense intuitively, but it's also an absolute impossibility for any training endurance athlete. Now I'd be willing to bet that almost all actively training and racing endurance athletes are almost always in some state of soreness. You're going to be stiff. You're going to be achy. That's a normal consequence of the normal tissue damage sustained during your workouts. You're always going to be healing and recovering. That's part of getting stronger. The soreness doesn't always mean injury. This is one of those places where I think runners can get off course. I know a number of times I've talked about how I really think that most runners could avoid overtraining injuries if they would just look for the onset of the beginning subtle signs of an overtraining injury. In most cases, that means the first sign of soreness, but soreness doesn't always mean injury. There's lots of reasons you can be sore after you run. You know, yes, you could have an Achilles tendon strain. Yes, you could have a stress fracture. Yes, you could have just generalized muscle soreness. Now, the thing you can do is you can focus on focal soreness. The soreness in one location may mean trouble. If you run a marathon, you're probably going to be sore all over. That's normal. But in general, if you have one spot, one area of soreness, and it's only in one spot, that kind of implies tissue damage. So that might be the first indicator that you have an area that might benefit from the application of ice. A lot of runners get confused by that. So if you're not completely sure whether or not your soreness is in just one location, here are a couple of other ways that can really help you decide. And the first thing is asymmetry, meaning it's only in one spot or only on one side. Now that's one of the best things about the runner's body is that you have two of everything. So if your right calf muscle feels sore and you're trying to figure out how much of a problem that might be, just compare it to the left one. You know, asymmetry is really, it's a great indicator of trouble. If one side is super tender and the other side feels fine, you might be heading for trouble. You might be heading towards some kind of injury. But if both of your calf muscles are sore, even if one is a little more sore than the other, it's not likely to be much of a problem. So try to identify any amount of increasing tenderness, stiffness, or tension in one side versus another. Doc on the Run. We help injured runners run.